Yo, what is good, YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. In the first update of the day, we have a recent physique update from our current reigning classic physique Olympia champion, Chris Bumstead. And these are the best updates I've seen of Chris this prep. Now, as you guys know, he stopped working with Ian Valier a few weeks ago. Ian has been seventh place in the world for the past two years and really hard for him to focus on moving up while having to coach an Olympia champion. So Chris Bumstead is now working with Honey Rambot. And the first thing I noticed about this update was just the roundness and almost the 3D look of Chris Bumstead. I've never seen Chris look like this before, but granted, this could have been after an arm day. It also seems like Chris Bumstead has slightly changed his side chest execution and it looks a lot better. Initially, I already had Chris winning the title, but after seeing this update, it is going to be very hard for anyone to knock off Chris Bumstead. This side chest looks better than ever, and Chris looks like he's going to come in improved. Now, switching over to Samson Dowda, we have a recent update from him. Now, on a recent podcast, Milo Sarchev, who is his coach, actually said Samson wanted to hop into the Big Man Weekend, which is the same show that Brett Wilkin is doing. But Milos advised against it, said everyone is waiting on you at the Olympia, so just reveal the physique at the O. But Samson does stay driving distance away from Spain, so I think it's a possibility he may hop into that show. A very small possibility. But Samson is looking pretty good right now. I'm expecting him to be one of the biggest newcomers at this year's Olympia. Between him, Andrew Jack, and Derek Lunsford, I have a feeling Samson Dowder may show out the best. Now, switching over to James Hollingshead, this is a recent update from him. And is it just me, or does James look a little bit smaller in the upper body, especially throughout the traps and the dips? As you guys know, going into last year's Mr. Olympia, James Hollingshead did over diet. And honestly, what I'm seeing right now, it looks to me like James is more than just flat. But you guys let me know in the comment section below what you think about this. I'm still excited to see him at this year's Olympia. He's definitely going to come in condition, but I just don't want James to run into the same issue of last year which was pushing the conditioning too far. Now, switching over to Rafa Brandeo, we have a recent update from him. Rafa has truly added some size this offseason. Still needs a little bit more lead in their front double bicep. And this video was actually put up by his coach, Chris the Technician Aceto. And everyone has been saying Rafa needs more size to be competitive, and he has done just that. But will this be enough to be competitive for a top 10 spot, you know, top 12? This year's Olympia is going to be very, very stacked. But I can tell you guys right now, this is the best I've ever seen Rafa Brandeo look. Take a look at this rear leg spread. This was one of his worst poses. I don't know what Rafa has been doing with the back training, but it's definitely working. I'm excited to see this guy on stage, and hopefully he can shake some things up. And in the next update of the day, we have recent updates of Brett Wilkin. And already since the Romania Pro, it seems like Brett is already in better condition. Take a look at the upper body in this side tricep, just sliced full of detail. I think Brett is probably going to earn a qualification for next year's Olympia at the Big Man Weekend. He may be even better than what he was at Romania. But I believe Brett is about 5'9", around the same height as Ian. And Brett is probably around 240, Ian around 270. So Brett is going to have to put on some significant size, I think, to be truly competitive. Now, switching over to Tony O'Burn, this is a recent back update from him. Antonio said just with him making it to this year's Open Olympia, that is a big win for him. If you guys don't remember, Tonio was actually competing in the 212 last year. I believe he placed 10th. But already in his first true year as a pro, he beat Sergio Oliva at the finals at last year's Legion Sports Fest, which was his first show moving up to the open class. I think this guy has a very bright future. And switching over to 212, we have a recent update from Keon Pearson. And at about four weeks out from this year's Olympia, Keon has deep separation and also some good striations. But will this be enough to land Keon in, let's say, the top three, top four? I'm pretty sure Keon is going to bring his best to the stage, but he's competing in the 212 division. 212 has some of the most conditioned guys in bodybuilding. Deep separation, strided glutes aren't enough. 212 literally comes down to who has the most veins in their head, and I think Sean Clarita would be winning that. But in all seriousness, you guys know just having striated glutes isn't enough for 212. You have to be peeled from head to toe. And switching over to Angel Calderon, these are recent updates from him. Now, if you guys don't remember, he actually won the big man weekend last year in the open class. So he can compete with the big boys this year if he wants to, but I think he's going to stay in the 212. Angel placed fourth at last year's 212 Olympia. I don't think a lot of people have this guy on their radar. He's very good. It comes in very, very conditioned from head to toe. And that's why he is a top five Olympian. Now, switching over to Classic Physique, we have recent updates from Logan Franklin. This is probably the best I've ever seen Logan look. He definitely brought the back up a lot this offseason. And next to Terrence Ruffin, Logan Franklin is the second best poser in the IOBB hands down. 
So excited to see this guy on stage. I haven't seen him next to Urs Kalasinski, Ramon Dino, but I have a feeling Logan Franklin is probably going to be around that fifth to seventh spot. I haven't really put my predictions together, but overall, I still think Logan is going to need a little bit more league size to challenge for a top spot. And ending this video here with the archive of the day, you guys let me know in the comment section below which legendary bodybuilder is this. As always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. It was a shorter one, but hopefully I made it interesting. If you haven't done so already, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm Christian from Go Fitness, and that's it. I'm out.